Hello and welcome everybody, it's Voice Rider here, thank you for joining me. So today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to convert a uh, any length of pulse into a one tick pulse. So I'm just going to start off by showing you this, you press the button, you can see the redstone stays on for I believe it's 20 ticks, 2 seconds, 1, 2, uh, well 20 redstone ticks, there's I think 20 game ticks in a second, but there is only 10 redstone ticks, ticks in a second, so yeah. Anyway, so we're going to have redstone there, and then I'm going to put a piston here, and then some wool, and then an output. Actually, sorry, we're going to quickly replace that. Um, this is just a thing I'll quickly show you. So you can see this, uh, the button press will make the light flick on and off really quickly. So how this works is the redstone pulse comes through, it triggers the piston, um, but just before it triggers, well, as it triggers the piston, it goes through into um, the redstone. So you can see, if this is powered, it's not going to go through at all. It can't go through a piston head. It's not a full block. It has to go through a full block to actually get through. Uh, you can't have a redstone next to redstone. That's just not going to work. Even if this is a straight line, uh, it's not going to work. You have to have a repeater on one of the two sides. Now, uh, you can learn more, more about that on Minecraft Wiki, but you can see... Even if both the straight lines, it's it's not going to go through the block. Uh, anyway, let's replace this again. So yeah, this can be quite useful, you know. Well, I don't really know why you'd want it this short. But you can flicker lights. You can place um, buckets of lava or water um, quickly. And then you can turn them off quicker. Because if this stays powered, you're not going to be able to turn it back off. Uh, but you can see that will do that. And then we can do it again quickly. Um, whereas if this stays constantly powered, uh, like for a long button press or something, you can see I can't re-trigger it because it's already got power. So it can be useful for things like that. Let's turn it off again. Um, and also something interesting to note is when the pulse is uh, as short as this is, you can um, a sticky piston, you can see this is a sticky piston, will extend and it will push a block, but it will not retract the block. So that's something kind of interesting to note. Um, and if if you have it like this set up, it, uh, the tri piston, you can see, still extends. It's slightly quicker though than having it. No, what am I talking about? This way is actually quicker than the other way, I believe. You can see I'm not very onto it at the moment. That won't work because the uh, pulse is going the wrong way. Actually, no, it will. It's a piston. Yeah. Anyway, so you can see that works. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.